Bom dia, gente. Good morning, everybody. Espero que todos estejam tendo um bom dia. Hope you guys are having a good morning. I am uh, getting ready to get actually I've gotten my day started. Typically, I'll go to the gym on Saturday in the morning and uh, then filter out the rest of my day with other little errands. Um, but I'm going to uh, meet with some friends of mine. We're going to have breakfast and just have conversations. So, uh, listen, I, I you know if you if you notice in this video, you probably won't hear my theme music and uh, a whole bunch of fancy stuff. So I'll just say definitely if the content is beneficial to you, if if it's informative in any way, if there's any form of entertainment in it, uh, which I typically just talk. Uh, like share and subscribe um, but I wanted to I, I didn't want to park and I know it's a lot of probably a lot of background music or not music but noise because I'm actually driving right now but I wanted to speak on something that I thought you ever had a thought just kind of arrest your heart and you just want to call someone and just speak about the issue because you feel like it was just that important or that's how I'm feeling right now and uh, before I get into the issue, I'll just say this. There's a saying that the future belongs to those who can see it before it happens. And I believe in a lot of cases that's true. You think about all the people who are millionaires or people who have been benefited in some way, be it financially or physically or emotionally or in some way, by something that, I would say, well, by, by something that the masses caught on to a little bit later. Not that it wasn't readily available, it's just that we didn't see the importance of it. Uh, in some cases, we didn't know about it, but in most cases, we didn't see the importance of it. Um, we have been urging people, uh, we, when I say people, we, people who are in the Manusville travel community, I'll just travel for the most part, have been urging people to get their passports. And a lot of times people, uh, they automatically go back to dating. Well, that's just a small byproduct of the overall message. The overall message is simply quality of life, quality of treatment, quality of care. And then, of course, the, the, the other variables, the, the intangibles, the food, the, for those who would desire or become expats, the food, the benefits of being uh, either a permanent temporary resident, a permanent resident, temporary resident, or an, uh, an overall citizen uh, of those of, uh, those say countries, whichever country you feel like connects with you. But listen, this message is um, it, 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 it's kind of scary to me what I believe is happening, and I don't know if any of you guys are chronicling everything as it occurs because most of this stuff is fluid, meaning it's, it's happening in real time. The more we tell people about getting their passports and the importance of travel, the importance of seeing the world, the importance of broadening your horizon, be it learning a new language, obviously meeting different people, it, it, it's, I think it's, 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 being, it's um, starting to be lost. Uh, with uh, the other talking points of, well, they're just going in. That's what they're doing. I believe that now is the time to get your passport. I'll tell you why. Um, if you guys have been chronicling everything as I have, you realize that a lot of people are, are, are beginning to get upset. And you know, as with any movement or any legislation, when enough people get get upset, they inadvertently, or in some cases purposely, get the attention or garner the attention of those who are in positions of power, meaning those who are in positions to create legislation. Now, this is my point. I do believe that in the in the very near future, because of all of the hoopla that is surrounding the passport bros, those of us who are in the travel community who are urging, and even in some cases, well, who are urging people, hey man, get your passport, get your passport, get your passport. I think, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, they used to have CDL license and then they turned them into class A and class B and class C and stuff like that. 
Well, for those who had their original CDL license, they were grandfathered in. And I don't know if that, grandfathered basically is a term that meaning you are automatically, because you acquired a license or certification prior to new legislation, you are not required to, um, you're not to, to require to meet certain, you're not, you're not required, you're not obligated rather to meet certain requirements that people who uh, are just now beginning or desiring to acquire those, those certifications or licenses and things of that nature. So in other words, if you've had one a while ago, then when the new stuff or the new requirements come about, they're not gonna, you're not gonna be obligated to get them. Yours will automatically be kind of grandfathered in, which is where that term, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, actually it's gonna be welcomed in, I'll say it that way. I think that they are going to begin to create legislation that's gonna make it harder for the regular person, and when I say regular person, I mean, I just say people, to get their passports. And I, I think they'll probably do it through I mean, we all know that people who are, you know, dealing with child support issues, people who have certain types of um, legal issues uh, on their, on their, uh, uh, their, 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 if they have a, a, a criminal past, um, and you can still get a passport with a criminal record, but, but they, I think what they're going to do is they're going to tighten, and they're going to make, they're going to, they're going to tighten the restrictions. They're going to, they're going to uh, uh, make the requirements a little bit more. And people who have decided to wait, I think they're going to be uh, disappointed when they finally, when the message finally hits home and they realize, you know what? I should have gotten it when I was hearing time and time again, get your passport, get your passport, get your passport. I waited and now um, the requirements are just too strict. And I think that's how they are going to, because they can't stop us. They can't. They can't prevent right now a person from saying, you know what? Not only am I going to not get my, pa not only am I going to get my, acquire my passport, but I'm going to leave. I'm going to relocate. I'm going to get out of here. I think that the the influx of guys, uh, and I just say people on a whole, because you have families that are deciding to relocate to leave this country and become either permanent residents or uh, permanent citizens of other countries. I think the economy is going to take a hit. I think that uh, a lot of industries are going to uh, 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 suffer. Now, from a corporate standpoint, I don't think they mind so much because they don't have to pay a whole lot of overhead for buildings. That's more people who can work remotely. And they'll probably say, well, if you're going to work remotely in another country, we're not going to be responsible for certain aspects of your health care. They'll probably do something like that. But by and large, I think that they're going to do whatever they can possibly do to stop people or prevent or make it more difficult. I'll say it that way for people to acquire their passport and, 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 and leave this country and uh, begin to travel abroad. So if you're hearing this message, I'm admonished. There's a term admonished. That means um, uh, to admonish someone to do something is, is to, 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 to give them a warning. It's like a stern warning. It's like, listen, you better do this. I am admonishing you guys. If you have not gotten your passports, now is the time. Please, please, please get your passports because um, at worst case scenario, um, you will have spent a little bit of money and you can chalk me up as a crazy person. But if I'm right, which I believe I am, and you have not got you have not gotten your passport, you're gonna be in a very, very uncomfortable spot. And and you're gonna be one of those who will unfortunately be amongst those who cannot. Who, amongst those who uh, saw Amazon stock when it was like almost at IPO prices, only now not being able to acquire it. Why? Because 
it, it's just unattainable for many. And so I'm urging you guys, please, please get your passport. Because um, again, the future belongs to those who see it before it happens. And I believe that this new legislation or whatever it is that they're cooking up is gonna really, really, really put a wrench in the gears of those who at this point can go full automatic. So that's my spiel, that's my take on it. Um, um, I hope this message reaches the right people. And uh, again, you won't hear my theme music today because I just felt like this message was, not that any of the other messages aren't, in, uh, aren't important, I just felt like this was one of those messages that just kind of needed to be heard absence of uh, any background noise other than the, uh, <laughs> the road. Uh, but anyway, follow Converse my Stasi. I will talk to you guys later. She's your man, Larry, the American Brazilian. And um, yeah, man, it, it's uh, get your passports. Talk to you guys later. No Deus Jogador, Deus Jogador. É verdade.